Um, hello, everybody. Um, today I'm talking about uh, MJML, and MJML allows you to use React components to uh, create responsive emails. A little bit about myself. My name is Andy Eccleston. Uh, currently, I'm uh, uh, working out at Questar Assessment as a content manager. Um, I'm also a uh, boot camp grad. I graduated in January 2016 from Prime Academy, which is a JavaScript boot camp. And I started working with React in October 2016. And luckily, I was able to find this meetup, which has been really helpful in learning. So, so basically, what I'm going to talk a little bit about is MJML, what it is. And then I'm going to talk about HTML emails. And I'm going to talk about some of the pain points that are involved in making HTML emails and how MJML can make it really, really very simple. If anyone's worked with HTML emails in the past, they can be painful. Um, kind of my goal is I want to keep it simple. I want to show you guys enough MJML that I think that anyone within under an hour can be writing uh, HTML emails with this library. It's really kind of nifty. So what is MJML? Um, it stands for MailJet Markup Language. And when you, write, when you write these files, you write them .mjml. It's an open source project. Um, all of their code is on uh, uh, GitHub, so you can take a look, take a look at it. Um, it's built on React, and it's responsive by design. Um, one of the other features, too, is it's just React components. There's no Flux, there's no Redux, there's no router. So if you're kind of new to the language, uh, this, is, this could be something really good to kind of take a look at and see how the, the components are put together and, and see really how much you can do with just the React library. HTML emails. Well, if you're like me, this is, this is kind of a timely time to be doing this speech. If you're like me, my email inbox has been flooded with HTML emails. Now, this is an example. I've been getting reminders that Valentine's Day has been coming up for at least a month. I've been getting at least one or two, two emails a day. Um, so why do companies use this? Use the, this. It's not really kind of the sexiest, newest way to market. But it is effective. It's fairly inexpensive. And, uh, it, and it works. I bought, I bought flowers for my wife. So, so it worked. Um, I should say this, I'm not an expert on, on email marketing, but I just want to kind of give you the, like, the basics, basic theory of, of how HTML emails work. Basically what you want to do is you want to get the client or you want to get your customer who sees your HTML email as quickly and as smoothly as possible from the email client to the browser. So this is what their actual website is. So why is it that, they, that you, that you want to get uh, your customer moving from the email client to the browser? Well, it's HTML email. So it's using very limited resources. Um, you can't use all the stuff that we can use as web developers in the browser. So you want to make it look as seamless as possible from the, from the client to the browser. Um, but this can be very difficult. This can be tricky. There, like, I, like I said earlier, there's a lot of pain points involved in using HTML emails. For example, no JavaScript. You don't, in your email client, you don't want JavaScript executing, so obviously you can't use it in an HTML email. Um, another challenge is you're using a limited range of HTML and CSS. Not only that, every email client is different. Um, what, Yahoo, Gmail, one of the funny things is Outlook, actually the different versions of Outlook even have different implementations of this. Um, you can't use an external style sheet in an HTML email. And some, some of the clients actually strip the head out of your uh, HTML, so you can't even really put um, styles in the head of your email. So what tools does that leave you? Um, if you want to put any structure in your email, you're basically relegated to tables and inline styles in those tables to make it work. And a, and a good amount of creativity and dedication. When I look at like some of the email, HTML emails that people have come up with using just this limited tools, I, I'm really impressed. So, and if you are interested in what you can use in different um, email clients, uh, Campaign Monitor, which does email marketing, has a, has a pretty good guide. So using MJML. I'm gonna talk about two different ways you can do this. Um, one of the, if you use NPM, I would recommend um, installing the package. 
Um, the package comes with a command line tool that allows you to convert the MJML files into uh, HTML. Um, if anyone uses the, uses the Atom Editor, they've got uh, language support for MJML, they've got uh, a language, a linter, and a preview packages that all work really pretty well, and um, I liked them. Um, but even quicker and easier than that is the MGML Try Live website. Um, it compiles, it has a screen where you can write your MGML, it compiles it, and then displays it in the browser so you can see what's actually coming out. Um, it also even has a nice, a couple nice features where you can switch between uh, um, mobile view and a desktop view, can, so you can see, see the how it's working responsibly. All right, so this, is your basic hello world. I try to make it as basic as possible. This is your MJML, MJML file. Um, so basically all you need to do is start with an MJML tag. Inside it, put an MJ body tag, which is up the body of your email. Inside that, you need an MJ container, and that's the tag that makes everything responsive in the email. Um, Inside of that, you need a section, which is basically like, you know, if you do a footer, you're just, you're, you're claiming a section of horizontal real estate in your email. And inside of that, you need a column, which, uh, which will have your, uh, your content. And inside that, you have a text tag, or you can put an image tag, or a button. And if you want to cut, and you can customize all of these uh, components inside your project. Uh, you can see in this example, I added an alignment center to the text uh, component, uh, color red, and a font size. And actually, um, when, you, when you look at this, how much HTML this converts down to, it's, it's like 140, 140 lines for just this hello world. So now I'm gonna show you another feature. Um, you can also use a head. Like I said before, the, that some of the email clients will strip the head right out. Well, the MJML library puts in tools to kind of put, put some of that back in. So it kind of, synthesis, or um, you have a synthetic uh, way you can use the head. So you put in an MJ head prod, um, tag, you can put in the uh, MJ attributes, and it, it has various things you can do. You can add a title. Um, if you use the MJ all tag, if you want to put, put uh, something on all the different uh, components, if you just want to do the MJ text and you want to apply certain, certain styles to just that, you can do that. But the one thing I think is really cool is you can actually use class with the MJ class tag. All you need to do, as you can see, is define the class, define what you want the class to do, and you can see on the uh, second, second column in, in our section that uh, I applied the class and it works. So that's really handy. Now, now I'd like to just show you a more structured um, example of MJML. Instead of having the one, one section, there's multiple sections. In our first section, we have a single column with some styling that says, hello, React Minneapolis. And our second, um, you can't really see it, I had to use a slide. Um, the second section has two columns, and the first column is our image and the second is our text. And this is, this is the same thing in, um, in mobile, mobile mode. And that third section has two different columns in it. But, the, but it, as you can see, well, I don't know if you can kind of see it, the, the image might be in the way. Instead of, um, instead of wrapping like the first, or the second second uh, set, uh, section does, the third section doesn't wrap because it has that MJ group tag around it. And these are, these, that's really, that's kind of all there is to the tool. These are like the, the really basic parts of it. However, um, MJML has more things you can do. It has, um, you know, the, the uh, Pro Flowers uh, thing I showed you had a, a nav bar. They have, they have their own nav, so you can make your HTML emails look like they have navigation. They have an invoice, so if you're dealing with a customer and you want to send a bill and you want it to look professional, they even have a carousel that you can include in your HTML emails and um, social for social media. React. I, I just should, um, I recommend uh, taking a look on GitHub at uh, 
the various components. I don't want to say they're simple because they're not really simple because there's a lot going into them, but it is, it's just kind of cool to see, see them in action. They don't really translate to slides, but you can see I'm not lying. These are actually React components underneath. Um, another great way if you're interested in learning more about it is uh, they actually have a step-by-step -step guide. If you're not, if the components that they have aren't, aren't what you need, you can actually create your own custom component. And if you want to learn how, like more the basics of, of what's going on, that's a really good guide to check out. NGML resources. So these are, these are basically a lot of the, the resources that I've gone over in the talk so far. A um, couple of things I'd like to recommend, the documentation is really good. Um, for every component, it links to one of the live, try it live, um, and it, it shows it right there. And the, doc, the documentation is really good. I've, I've really enjoyed using it. Also too, if you're having issues, they have a Slack channel and um, one of the guys who works on the, the open source project is basically the moderator. So if you have issues, and then over the last couple of weeks that I've been checking it, people have very specific issues that come to him and ask him about it. And he's, he's actually very quick about, uh, about responding. Another thing I wanted to show you just to kind of see some examples of, uh, here's some examples that the community has made of MJML in practice. And this is just a small, a small um, selection. There's some really cool stuff. So if you want some inspiration on what you can possibly do with this library, I'd really recommend checking that out. Here's some articles if you're interested in learning more. Uh, Smashing Magazine has a really good piece um, covers a lot about of what I talked about today, but in more depth and with some some more examples. And then also I referenced before the medium.com article about making responsive uh, emails. And that's the one that um, where it teaches you how to make your own uh, custom element and register it and use it, that sort of thing. And that's it. Thank you. Any questions? All right. Thank you.